What is up guys, Matt from School Buses, and today we're doing another video on Days Gone. So this video is uh, is about character collectibles. So right now as you can see I've got 27% of collectibles, but I'm going to collect them all and show you where all the locations are, apart from the seven because they're unmissable. Uh, these are story related um, character notes, and these are unmissable, so this is number one for Leon. This is number 10 for Lisa. This is number 23 for uh, Kira. Number 26 for Weaver. Number 27 for Weaver again. Number 31 for Jessa. And number 32 for Jesse again. So there's seven that are unmissable. So let's get into it and show you the rest of the locations. Go to Copeland's camp. If you all know where that is, is that Cascade area? It's the first camp that you go to. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna go all the way up the ramps to the very top to Camp uh, Copeland's base or hut, whatever you call it. So this one is number two. Uh, there it is. To the right to bear arms. And this is number three. Birthday, Hunting season. So that's two and three. I'll show you that again. That is two and three. Go on. On to three and four. Four and five is with Manny at Copeland's camp once again. Stood. So number four, happy birthday stud, is behind Manny. Hey, good to see you. Camper's life, hey Manny. Number five is by his car, which is Sen and the Arts Sen of Bike Sen. Repair. On to number six. Right, this is number six for the character collectibles. This one's for Tucker, and it is just right here. I've collected it before, I think during the storyline. So this one's called Trust No One. Right, number seven is at Tucker's house and the location is near the church, the big church. And it's this little house here on the edge of Belknap Town. I, I'm gonna it Belknap Town. I don't, I don't know what the town's called, I completely forgot. But it's just, if you go in the kitchen and it's just right here and I can't go on by Tucker. So that's what that one is, and on to number eight. Right, the next one is number eight. It is by Alkai. Uh, Tucker places just above you. If you come down to the, uh, the merchant, which is Alkai, his is just on the left of him. So it's a portrait of Salom. I think that's how you pronounce it. But on to number nine. Right, the next one is for Lisa. The location is just above Tucker's or below Tucker's house. So Tucker's house is there. Her house is just above my bike. And let's see the, construct, uh, the construction one or unfinished one, however you want to pronounce that. So up the ladder. So you can do this during her story mission, which is it's not a save here. So you need to, you need to go all the way downstairs. That dog toy will be mine. And it's just over here. So it's from a mum and it's have a good day. So that's number nine, on to number ten. Right, I said on to number ten, I completely forgot. It's unmissable. So we're going on to eleven and twelve. So we have to at Boozer's house and Deacon's house on Lost Lake or Hut. So the first one is this one. Our only guess is Boozer. And number twelve. There's Boozer's wife. So that's 12 and 13. So on to number 14. 13 and 14 is at Ricky's house on Lost Lake. So it's this blue one just next to the mechanic shop and her mission point for the Valentis. So you go in her house like a cheeky cunt. And then the first one is on the right, which is wrench in a hand. It's her wrench. 
And number 14 is a lamp in the Spirit sky. Three, times. Your Can't lamp in the sky. I repeat, that's 13 and 14 onto 15 and 16. Right, 15 and 16 is at Schizo's house. The location of his house is just at the back of Lost Lake. So the first one is with Honest or for so Honest. With Honest, sorry. And number 16 is the shit list. So it's 15 and 16, and on to 17 and 18. So the next one is Iron Mike's. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come to his big house, which is the big house, should I say, on Lost Lake. Go through the back door, because that seems to where it is, and it's just here on the table. Yeah, this shit ain't worth the cost of the paper it's written on. So that must let there be peace. So it also, if you come through the front door, uh, you can also take a left to the stairs, and then, then the next one is just up here, and it's just on his desk. It's a tough way to go out. Glad Mike was there for her. I'll always be there with you. So that was 17 and 18 on to 19 and 20. So we're on 19 and 20. So we are at his uh, infirmary. That's, I think that's what it's called. I think it's her infirmary. So the first one is here, just the left. Gotta give Ricky credit for keeping shit running around here. So that's the old generator. And then num uh, number 20 is just round up the stairs off the back of the infirmary and it's just up here. That's a shitty thing to do. Strain from the path off God. So on to 21, I believe 22 because 21 was an unmissable from my uh, thinking, but on to the next one. So we're at the Wizard Island encampment. We're at the Colonel's tent, and uh, it's basically at the top of the uh, crater. So the first one, this is number twenty-one. Sarah and her herbal teas. So it's this is sleepy tea, and this is number twenty-two. The good book. On to 23 and 24. Number 24 is for Cura. Number 23 is Unmissable. So you want to go to Diamond Lake and it's just his 10 nets to the Bounty Hunt mission. In this case it's Russell. But in other references it could be Cura. So he is just there and it's to serve and uh, not to serve. Yeah, it's to serve and protect. And it's about his kids. I've already unlocked it somehow. I don't remember. And uh, stay tuned for more. So this is number 25. If you go to the uh, infirmary for the Wizard Island. Which is all shut off now. Uh, if you've done the story. But if you go in the back entrance. It's just here to the left. And it says Doc Jimenez. Doc Aptoro. So this is 28 29, this is at the Wizard Island once again, and uh, it's the first tent as you come in, uh, as you can see, just near the bounty, so that's your reference. So as you go in, it's just one to the left, so this is Taylor's Flying High, and this is Taylor's Delivery Boy. So that was at 28 and 29. This one is number 30 and it's for Sarah. So what you need to do, you need to come to the uh, work facility. I forgot what it's called, but it's in the Ripper region. All you have to do is just come past the Nero site into it and it's in the uh, facility. So I'm going to speed this up to show you where it is. Was on this side. I remember taking this photo. It was this old lady. So on for the last one is number 33. 
this is the final one and this is for Jim and this is number 33 this is the final one for the character of collectibles So it's an advisory warning. I think I've just read that wrong. I, maybe. Oh, I'm going to get jumped. So there you go. That is the character collectibles all done and dusted for you guys. It's every single location of all the characters apart from the immiscibles. Because once you complete the stone, you've pretty much got them. So there you go. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more now. See you all soon. Adiós.